here from Warden's Farm. We're getting ready to go get into our two hives that are out here. And one of the things now is the pollen is definitely in the air. And you can see that by just looking at the pollen on the truck. That shows what kind of pollen is blowing in the air now. And it's just March 1st. So I think it's gonna be an early season this year. We may get one more frost. We usually do by April, we'll probably have a frost. But I think it'll end up hurting the trees and hurting other things if we do. So let's go get into these hives and see what we can find. Okay, I'm coming out here to look at the hives. And I noticed on the back of the hive that the tray is pulled open. So I got a funny feeling Mr. Raccoon's out here trying to lick up any sugar that's left over from when the bees drop it down in the tray. So I'm going to look at putting up an electric fence around these things to keep the critters out. Okay, on this hive, hive number nine, it's got the mouse guard on it. And I'm actually going to remove the mouse guard. This will help stop the pollen that's getting knocked off on their wings. And it'll give them a little more free access too. We'll see how much of this candy board they actually ate, if any. Well, they ate quite a bit of it. No queen on the cover. The sugar board, you can see they're still eating on it quite a bit. But you can see down in there, there's quite a lot of bees. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I'm going to see. So we can take the candy board off. What I'm looking for is to make sure that they don't have any brood up here because I want to make sure all the broods down below but it, so far they could be using them both because here's brood here this is cat brood you can see quite a bit of cat brood on both sides a lot of young bees right there some drones quite a few drones and let's get down and to the bottom box. Yeah, that's propolis in pretty good. Frame five has got pollen, a lot of pollen. I just want to make sure the queen ain't here so I can show you. It's got a little bit of nectar. You've got a little bit of pollen on this side as well. Just check this queen cup. Get rid of that. But this is the pollen that they have on this frame. What's nice is with it being a dark frame is you can see the pollen. There's a little bit of cat brood up here. One's trying to hatch right there. A lot of bees with pollen on their legs. A lot of young bees. You can see the brood pattern is here. This is all pollen on the outside coming around it. So they got a bunch of cat brood. And inside the cells, all the empty ones have white larva in it in different stages. But you can see there's a drone. So there's plenty of drones now. And again, cap brood and pollen. The brood patterns aren't huge. 
So I checked the feeder. A lot of pollen though. My goodness, there's so much pollen. So I may have missed our queen in the top box. I'll double check one more time here when I look inside the feeder. We will top that off because the bees are looking for it. So since the feeder's empty, I'm going to top it off. We got bees fanning out here, so they are trying to get the queen scent sent out with the hive open. And we'll add this sugar water. This is a one-to-one -one sugar ratio. That way they can use it for energy, and they can also use it to build up any wax that they think they may need. A lot of trees are putting out now, dandelions are putting out, there's different flowers that are starting to show up. And that is a full gallon of sugar water. I'm going to end up replacing this frame here soon because it's bowed. So I'll need to replace that one. I'll have to bring out a Get out the way, come on. Have to bring out a deep frame to go ahead and uh, replace that one. But it's got eggs and larvae on it, so I may move it away. So we're going to put the candy board back on. We're going to let them finish this candy off. And as soon as that's gone, then we'll take this off and we won't feed it no more. So the next inspection, depending upon how much of this is gone, will let us know if it'll come off or not. So this hive's looking good. I found all kinds of brood and larva and cap brood. So I'm not worried about it. It is looking good. Make sure there's no hide beetles under there and I don't see any. So we'll put this lid back on and all we got left to do to this hive is treat it.